Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a um, weekend, alright? This is a weekend love and general opportunity tarot reading session for you Taurus. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing good wherever you are right now. This reading for today is for the Taurus friends out there. What can I get for Taurus, please? What is the love and general opportunity reading that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for you, Taurus, okay? Before I start, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Taurus, I invite you to check out the website, sunshine-tv.com. It will have all of the details about me, my channel, myself, and my team, and all other services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform. Apologies, I'm not offering a private reading right now. And if you've been approached by email or Instagram account, that is not me. Let's take these imposters and scammers down by reporting them and blocking them. And more importantly, by not engaging with them. Okay? <clears throat> Alright, so this is your weekend reading. Let's start your reading. What's the message for Taurus? You've got here the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay? Six of Swords. Hmm. And Queen of Pentacles. Um, I really feel like you're thinking of messaging someone. Okay? You're feeling like you want to reach out and forgive. Or you care about someone, about somebody. They've been, they've been part of your life. And I feel like you're wanting closure for some of you. This is a romantic energy. Um, but I feel like this is you. You want to reach out or reply or respond to a person connected to you romantically. But it's it's feeling like it's a relative or it could be a best friend. A very close, dear friend of you. If not, it could be a lover. could be someone you dated. Or it could be one of your family member. You're really, really thinking about them and reaching out and forgiveness and closure. You're kind of make peace with what happened in the past. You know, you're accepting something. You know, you can never go back like six, six of cups. You can never really move forward or move on without giving it a closure. Without, you know, telling this person forgiveness or acceptance. Without having the last final talk. You know, it's like a final talk. A final conversation. Like a final goodbye. Um, yeah, you're very emotional. You're quite emotional when this happened. I think it will. Yeah, it's a goodbye. Yeah, It's a closure. It's a goodbye. They're also thinking about you. Full card. They will take a risk to call you, to text, text you. They will listen. They will make time. Mm. Whoever will initiate the conversation, I think... For some of you, this is the final talk. It's it's very peaceful. It's very forgiving. It is a closure. You know, Knight of Cups. You will finally realize that you've been, I don't know, angry at them or upset with them because they they cheated on you or they betray you or they have disappointed you. You realize that the minute you talk and that you're willing to forget and forgive and accept the past, you feel so released and you feel like, I really don't have love for you now. Like you've been carrying this pain or this, you've been carrying this heavy feelings of hurt or pain or betrayal or um, not being appreciated. And you realize the minute you talk to them that you're not actually angry. You're no longer affected by this person, which is a win. And you will never know that unless you open up the conversation. So for some of you, it's a closure. It's a final talk. It's a final talk about the specific topic, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to talk forever. You know, that this is the end of it, you know. It's more of, it's a closure of the subject, the topic. It's the closure of whatever it is that you miscommunicated or misunderstood. It's the end of a cycle and a new beginning is waiting for you and this person, you know. Yeah, the chariot card. 
So after the talk, you will move forward, you will move on. And it feels very fresh. It feels like a clean slate. That something, temperance card, that something in you has been released and you feel so good. You feel so, you feel so light and warm. And you're just going to leave it to the universe on what is next in your life. It is kind of big. This is kind of big. You know, it could be a closure, a breakup, a release. A sense of release and then finding your next purpose in life. Your next, you know, your next project, the next best friend. The next good thing, you know. If you look back, you would, you would smile. This person has given you a lot of happiness. But this is a realization that... Um, you know, the full card looking at the five of pentacles. This is a realization where you're kind of looking at it. It's really impossible to be together or it's impossible to fix things. The only remaining, the only path is a release. Whether you're going to start all over again in the future or you're going to reconnect. But the first, you know, the first step of that, you know, possible encounter in the future is to release them, to allow them. If they're meant to be, they will come back anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Because this is this has been a huge block in your life. Yeah. Sometimes we hold back. We keep people in our life so much that we didn't realize that by holding them, by being angry, upset, or disappointed with an experience in the past, it is a block. And if you're blocked, then you're not allowing other space other abundance other opportunity to come into our life okay and you really this is your realization that it's not healthy for your soul for your mental emotional um to have someone who is not i'd say who's not meant to be with your life right now maybe they were part of your past but maybe the now is you have kind of in a crossroad, you know. It's a final talk. It's a crossroad, you know. The, there is a limitless possibility in the future. We never know. It's so unpredictable. But this is, I feel like you'll cross path again. For some reason, you'll cross path again. But um, right now, what is screaming here in the reading is that it's time to go. It's time to release, it's time to purge, and it's time to really crave for a new beginning, you know. You know, you could be, you know, sad, but this is the first step. This is brave, you know. This is, it's brave to say no or to turn down or to walk away from something that you feel like you're no longer connected or it's not going to work. Even if you give your 100%, it's already been tainted. Like it's been, it has a lot of damage or it's, there's a lot of crack that you need to, to buy a new one. Okay. To get a new one. So, um, this is your reading. Okay. Um, I hope you have connected and you have, you know, pick up some intuitive message that will assist you with your worries and concern. And, um, this is quite heavy and a bit sad. But you know, life must go on and don't feel like you're that you're alone. You're creating a new path for yourself. You're calling on upon new life, new person, new experience, and new abundance. Okay. I feel like you're gonna be abandoned, but you're never gonna be alone. And the universe has plan to replace that in due time. Temperance card. Replacement. Okay. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for your support. Stay happy and healthy. And I will be uploading the weekend love reading very soon, guys. So watch the uh, the blog, the update, by hitting the subscribe button and the bell. And again, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.